agradecemos por compartir tu testimonio y por recordarnos algunos puntos esenciales para caminar hacia el éxito. La siguiente charla será en inglés. Veremos que, aunque en algunos casos no logramos entender 100% lo que Monse nos dirá, su presencia en el escenario nos transmitirá mucho. Monse Ferrer nos hablará del papel que tiene nuestra mente frente a diversas situaciones y cómo podemos manejarla a nuestro favor. A través de ejemplos básicos cotidianos y de diferentes conceptos, Monse nos presentará Unlocking Your Mind's Potential. Hello, I'm Monse Ferrer. I'm 16 years old and what I'm about to tell you is a personal experience. So, sit back, relax and enjoy and let's dive into unlocking your mind's potential. Have you ever wondered or have you ever wished that something came true and automatically happened? Well, unfortunately, we do not master magic. But I bet that at the end of this talk, I open your horizons. I'd like you to imagine a bunch of clay. That doesn't have a particular shape, right? But what happens if you mold it and you squish it into something you like? You'll get a completely new thing. Before we start, I'd like to make a dynamic right now. Check your posture. Are you seated straight? Why are you bowed? Are your legs crossed? Are your arms crossed? Well, hold that to that answer and I'll explain it in a minute. Pushing yourself out of the comfort zone sounds scary, right? Going into an unknown territory, trying new things, and having these overwhelming thoughts that overflow your mind and start thinking, what is people gonna say about me? What if I don't like it? Well, my father used to say, aim to the stars. If you don't get there, at least you're closer now. So, the first priority of our brain is protecting us from uncomfortable situations. So, through the years, it has developed a self-conservation technique that, instead of helping us, sometimes it's sabotaging us because, at the same time, we're missing all these chances to develop our true potential. So, following this logic, it would explain why we're so scared of trying new things. It's because we're stuck in this loop where we think that doing the exact same things every single day would give you different results and that's not true you need to break the routine break your schedule do something new because if you keep in this loop and you don't do anything else there's not going to be any progress when we talk about doing something new we think that we need to do like climb a mountain and talking in public and that's not going to work that's not going to work out because you're new and we are all new and we are trying new things for the first time so it's scary but what happens if we're missing out all the opportunities to develop our true potential right so i cannot tell you how your best version of yourself looks like because that's you but i can tell you and i can assure you that it's going to take time in time it's patience and we all need a little bit of that do you consider yourself as a confident person? I can tell you that a few years ago, I wasn't. But let me tell you something that may seem surprising to, one of, to some of you. Confidence, it's not loud. You don't need to be standing here and saying, hey, look at me, look at my, at my accomplishments, look at how good I am. No, that's not going to work. Because a confident person, it's quiet. You can sit around them and you can feel this aura irradiating and you can feel more self-conscious about what you're doing. And that is contagious. When we talk about confidence, we don't need to be arrogant because arrogance, it's not going to work. Because if we need to be arrogant, we're not being proud of what we're doing. We need to be proud of what we are doing to reflect that to the others. Because what you do to yourself, how you treat yourself, is how you treat others. And that's the point, right? Treating yourself like you want to treat, be treated by others. That's the point. Now, a confidence person would share their tips, would share how they unlock their mind's potential, because that's the topic, right? It's a secret. It's the key of developing yourself every single day. 
And what's funny about this is that people tend to not realize how good they are, their potential, and how good, how good they can be in society. Now, we come to this question. Remember that I asked you how you were seated to analyze you were seated? Well, were your legs crossed? Were you seated straight? Well, that's an exact reflection of how your subconsciousness looks like. What were you thinking a few minutes ago? Work, family, friends? Well, that says a lot about you. But remember, confidence, when we talk about confidence, arrogance, it's shown. It's shown. But we need to be humble. Always, you always need to be humble, but aware of your worth. And you won't settle for less than you think you deserve. Now, let's recap some things. You need to adapt yourself to the surroundings, the people, the environment, because that's a human nature. You need to adapt yourself to every situation you're in, because remember, everything, it's temporary. Nothing is going to last forever. And that's a relief, right? You may feel nervous about some presentation or talking in public, but remember, you need to adapt. You need to get all this experience, because this experience is going to help you to improve yourself. Transform. Transform your thoughts. If you were thinking that everybody's going to judge you, that's not true. Everybody is minding their own business. And it sounds scary, right? That nobody is going to notice. No. It's that they're so focused on themselves that they won't think that you're doing something wrong. They will admire you for standing and being here and talking in public and talking to someone new in different situations. And improve. Every single day, you need to improve. Improve yourself, improve the way you talk, the way you treat people. Because improving, it's the tool that will make you feel less scary about things. Because fear, fear is a, a, a thing that it's normal. But improving, it's what makes the difference. Now, I'd like to recap three things and three tips that I want to tell you. First, if you struggle in so social situations, remember, you're not talking to a thousand people. You're not talking to a hundred. You're talking to one big individual. I bet that if we're talking face to face to someone, you wouldn't feel so scared. Now, second, pushing yourself out of the comfort zone is indeed scary. But what if you do it one time? OK, maybe you do it one time, two times, and you don't like it. And that's OK. If you like it, great. If you don't, that's also OK, because you did it. You're not there. You took a step forward, and you're standing here right now and last, being humble, loving the people you're with, doing what makes you happy, it's the key of unlocking your mind's potential. Thank you so much.